Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Dr. J.D. Green. He's with the University of Kentucky as Extension Weed Scientist there. Good morning, J.D. Good morning, Joanna. Well, I'm glad you're here today because we're going to talk about a particular weed that all of us get calls about every single year. However, a lot of times it might be a little later than optimum to actually control this weed and that's buttercup. Yeah, buttercup is one of those plants that uh, we notice uh, in the spring of the year as we get into late April and by May for sure. And that's when most people get more, more excited about doing something about it at that point in time. But that's probably not the time that we need to control that weed if we're going to use a herbicide. And yeah, that's the case with a lot of weeds that we see in uh, particularly out in pasture fields is we, we notice them whenever they're in the flowering stages and the reproductive phases. But the, the best effort to deal with those, best time of the year to deal with those is when those plants are in the vegetative growth stages. In the case of buttercup, it is primary grows as a winter annual, meaning that it really starts germinating or can start germinating in the fall of the year. Uh, and then it goes through the winter months uh, and, and then as we begin to warm up in late winter, uh, the vegetative growth begins to develop. And then when we get enough vegetative growth and gets a little bit warmer into the to more mid to late spring, uh, that's when that plant, particular plant begins to, to flower. And that's when we notice those bright yellow flowers. And you know, I have some clients who call and they say, well, I don't see any of it out there, but more than likely if they had a problem with buttercup last year, it's, it's there. Most likely it is. And the other deceiving thing about buttercup, it's going to be right on the ground, a little bit more difficult to see. And the other part of this is with the buttercups, there's some different species of buttercups that we have in Kentucky. And actually the leaf shapes can be a little bit different among some of those species. And they can also mimic and look like some other plants that, that we might be a little more familiar with. The, another point to consider with buttercup is it's going to happen more often in your open thin areas, areas of the field that um, are fields that are particularly used for pasture or grazing purposes in the fall during the winter months. We don't have very much vegetative cover on the ground which allows these buttercup seed to germinate and you have to be looking for it and it's sometimes very difficult to tell a person this is what you need to specifically look for because the leaf shapes can vary relative to the different species that we have. Absolutely. Now let's talk about control for a moment. So, you know, if you had it last year, go out, look for it, see if it's there, but what product and what temperature conditions do we need to kind of monitor when we're going to try to control buttercup? Well, in, in general, uh, any of the herbicides that have 2,4-D in it that we can use on, on pasture fields is going to be highly effective on buttercup. In fact, buttercup is probably one of the more sensitive plants to, to chemical control. What I think about when we're, when we're targeting winter annual species like buttercup um, is they are in a more active growth stage at those cooler temperatures compared to, to a warm season weed. So sort of the window I like to think about is a 60 degree daytime, 40 degree nighttime, uh, weather conditions. And, you know, that happens fairly quickly as we move into March. And if those are sustained for two or three days in a row, uh, these cool season weeds are, are beginning a, the real active growth stage. And again, a lot of our best control happens on young, actively growing plants. And so that's the perfect time. If you've had problems, scout, get out there, make sure you have some control. But what I have is clients call the next year and they say, well, I sprayed last year and now I still have buttercup. But when you see that yellow flower, it produces several seeds that could germinate year after year. So it's maybe not a one and done situation. Well, absolutely. You're dealing with an, a plant that primarily reproduces by seed. Not all of them are going to germinate in any given, given year. So what we're dealing with is trying to minimize more seed production this year. And hopefully after a few years, you can reduce that population. An individual flower may only produce 50 seed, let's say, but you have hundreds of thousands of seed per acre. And it's, it's, it's a numbers game really is what it boils down to. 
All right. Well, certainly appreciate the information and we definitely have the weather conditions for that. So um, if you had it before, if you have questions, make sure to contact your local extension office and we'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.